Hey everybody, Gary Fong here, and I want to show you a really remarkable demonstration of cell phone radiation versus shungite. What I've done is I've taken one of the newer iPhones, which is notorious for having a lot of cell phone radiation, and I'm going to put it up against a tri-field meter to show how much electric field radiation is coming out, how much radio frequency uh, radiation is coming out, and then I'm going to fix one of my cell phone stickers to the back of the case, and we'll show you what a difference it makes in cell phone radiation. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. You'll see over here, down here on the right, it says hi, and that number, 484.9 milliwatts per square meter, that is radio frequency radiation. And that is about 50 times higher than normal. 10 is considered safe, 50 is of course, or 500 is 50 times higher than that. Also, check out the uh, electric field radiation at 180 volts per meter. Now, healthy, safe, is considered at about 10 volts per meter. So watch what happens. We're just going to let this run and it goes up to 500 uh, milliwatts per square meter. And then, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these cell stickers and I'm going to put it, affix it onto the back of the uh, cell phone and watch what happens. On the right here, we've now dropped down to normal, 2.822. Again, anything below 10, but look what happens at the electric field reading, zero volts per meter. And I'll just go ahead and let this tape run for a while so you can see that it stays below 10. And that is extremely important because there's a lot of cell phone radiation coming out of your mobile device.